The documentary, directed by Orlando von Einsiedel zeroes in on British oil company Soko International interests in exploring for oil in the park, while conservation groups and park director Emmanuel de Mirode says the park should be left alone for wildlife preservation. There are between 800 to 900 mountain gorillas left in the world, more than half of which are in Viruga. The gorillas are animals that are incredibly important to me and for all of humanity and its entirety, whether it be their way of life within the forest or the role they play within tours of the park. Tourists come from everywhere to visit them and it's thanks to the gorillas that we have so many people entering our country. It's thanks to the gorillas that we protect our Virunga National Park and also all the other national parks. It's thanks to these gorillas that the Virunga National Park was originally created, so therefore this park together with these gorillas is incredibly important to me and for our country as well as the economic importance for our country. D. Mirode, a Belgian royal, appears extensively in the documentary, which provides a striking portrait of the violence surrounding the majestic park and its dauntless defenders. It, it just happened that while I was there, that, that happened several different times. And um, I probably, if I'd have had a choice, I probably would have rather, if I knew it was definitely coming, I, I would have tried to avoid it because it's, it's incredibly scary. Um, and I mean, you know, I'm, I'm lucky enough that as a foreign journalist, filmmaker in there, I can sort of nip away and leave, but local people have to put up with that and they have done for over 20 years. The Congolese government authorized oil exploration in the park by London based Soko International following the discovery of oil in 2010. Melanie Gabi, a French journalist featured in the film, did undercover investigative work on Soko and its possible connection to M23. She had lived in Eastern Congo for three years before she left the country. There was an ultimatum by the M23, so the fighting wasn't supposed to restart before a few hours, uh, but it did, suddenly. Um, and so we found ourselves called into the, into the fighting. Um, so we were obviously you know, not expecting it and very surprised and a bit panic. So we started driving back to Goma um, and on the way uh, we, you know, pulled people into the car to help them because people were f um, fleeing and, you know, running everywhere and uh, panicked and, uh, and so we, you know, just so that we could help a few people on the way. Park rangers are regularly killed in clashes with militia in the park. Diemerode was attacked on Tuesday by an unidentified gunman while driving through the country's volatile eastern borderlands. He was shot four times, but the bullet missed vital organs, and his life is not in danger. Nationally, the debate over Viruga has raised questions over how a country whose economy lies in ruins after decades of corruption and conflict can best profit from an area of outstanding natural beauty, but possibly also great mineral and oil wealth. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.